Right. You've been down for like two weeks. Someone had like a bogut in their house. And I spent most of it getting resources to banish it. Alright. I'm bored. Um, since I didn't need to spend the week getting a new squire, I want to bolster with Baldrica. Sure. We just spend the week like training, so I have. Like, I assume my preparation would go to combat. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, you got one preparation. I'm going to say that I spent the week basically just getting to know the town a bit more, trying to, and trying to talk with the mayor. Mm. Do you still have a cartload of potatoes or whatever? I do. <laughs> oh yeah, you missed that lens. He bought a cart and he filled it with potatoes. Or carrots and like Why? vegetables and stuff. I was gonna try and take it to another like town and sell them, but... We tried to leave for another town and got sh our ship pushed in, so we came back. Yep. Well, you opted to get your ship pushed in. No, we opted to fight. The ship pushing in. <laughs> it, it was more like, hmm, there's an abandoned shack. I guess we could just avoid that, except no one even thought to do that. So we opened the door. I'm all, pretty sure we all in. individually considered it, but no one wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, I mean, you know. It, it's just... You don't do that in a tabletop. Yeah. You see yeah. danger, you run into if it. Cave, if there's a cave, you just you explore the cave. It's like a compulsion. It's like we're messed up people. Alright, I gotta work on killing you guys harder. Oh yeah. No, no, there's no need for that. We'll die soon enough. Hey, we might fall down to infighting yet. Yeah. I don't know, we're on the third session and there's no one's died. Other than an NPC. You know, Baldrick no, might still be alive, died. just in a giant beetle nest. No, no, he, he he's definitely dead. There we go. You're insisting that a bit, a bit, you know, too readily. He's, he's definitely dead. Oh, Who's oh, dead? Okay. Baldrick. Okay, then. I um, mean, best case for Baldrick, he's some kind of beetle zombie thing. Beetleborg. Hey, maybe but, 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 I, that's maybe that's I can make a patent medicine that will fix him. It's not, yeah, it's like you need to sell more medicine. Look, we're we're past Baldrick, okay? It's the age of Baldrica now. <laughs> a new era. What, what, what happens when she dies? Well, so, like, it'll be it'll be her cousin, uh, Baldrico. Baldrico. And, what, what, and when he he dies. It'll be Baldrick the Lesser. Uh. <laughs> and then Followed if they die... The greater. No, 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 the first Baldrick was Baldrick the Greater. Then we'll Baldrick. get their Greek cousin, Baldrissus. Not, no, I not thought he was just normal Baldrick. Not, not the first as in Baldrick, my last squire, but my original squire was Baldrick the Greater. So ah. when do we get Baldrick the side grade? That, that, by, that's Baldrick, huh? <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> because <laughs> Gotcha. When are we getting Baldrick Jr.? Well, when Baldrick dies, and then the next one dies, and then that one dies, we'll see. Will we ever meet their family? Well, we're meeting them individually. Yes. Cody, you better write up the whole family tree. Yeah, I don't think I you guys realize that Swede has actually written up a family fucking tree for his character in a different game that he's in. It's concerning. <laughs> To say the least. Yes, my character's name is Sed, and he has a brother named Ted, Ked, Med, um, something, something, something. And he has an Arctic cut cousin. So, are we ready? I'm ready. Well, yeah. I'll just say that I try and meet them. I try and meet the mayor of Kwald. Uh, sure. Roll, uh, roll plus charisma. See how this goes. Who the fuck spun around my far south text? Not me. It really wasn't. Oh, hold on, I gotta go get my pen. Mm. 
Your what? Your pin? Pin? His pin. Maybe he meant Pim? Pim's is like, is it in the drink? Maybe he meant Pimps. Maybe he meant like Chip and Pin? He's got to pay for something real quick. You what? Maybe you he meant like... Pint? Just likes getting drinks and Imperial measurements. Big so I'm just kind of, I'm looking at our world so far. So far, we all, we know of... Okay, the first off is one island there. How does the rest of this world look like? I wonder. We oh, we never we never marked this shack to the southeast. No, we did not. So one of us should mark horror shack. Do not return. You know what? I haven't marked anything yet. I'll do it. All right. So you rolled an eight. All right. What? It's not your best performance, but um. The meeting goes okay. What do you talk about? I basically tell him that we, that me and my entourage, and yes, I'm calling it my entourage, we managed to get the local blacksmith installed by investing in the town, and if we had some more support, we could really get k on the map, as it were. Basically give him a spiel that put some faith in me and my lot, and we'll bring k to ever greater heights. Um, he mentions he's not interested in putting k on the map. <laughs> you boring, unambitious fuck. So, so it's our new goal to uh, make the mayor step down? I'd be a better mayor. No, he, he you know, he talks about, this is a safe town, uh, we pride ourselves on, you know, what little safety and shelter we can provide to those living here. The last thing we need is to be attracting more rambunctious folk than the adventures we already see. What uh, what were those blacksmiths brothers' names? Uh, I wrote that down, I wrote that down. I want to see how they're doing. Okay, I can, yeah, I could, let me... my money that I've invested. I'll try a new yeah. angle on this guy then. Because basically I'm going to knock on his door every session that I'm in and try and annoy him until things go my way. <laughs> and I'm going to try what different lines of, to get that. You know, I don't think I gave them names. We'll, we'll call them... Michael and Ross. That's terrible. I know. I mean, Do you so have any better be, names? Yes, I will have better names. Billy and Willie Manderson. Perfect. The, the brothers Manderson. The Manderson brothers. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I check in with them. I want to see, like, how's their operation doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a uh, Nietzsche and Fritzsche. No one's ever going to remember that. You don't have to. They go by uh, Nitch and Fritch. Nitch and Fritch? <laughs> Nitch and Fritch. Okay, they better. better. I want to see they how they're. Their name is yeah. on the Fritch. Uh, I mean, yeah, you would have talked to them while you were like buying a crossbow. Because they probably would have made it. Okay, so how are they doing? Uh, their you know, business is pretty good, making a lot of tools for you know local farmers, that kind of a thing. But um, they're running low on iron supplies. Hmm. Go get some. All right. Um. I t I asked them if. If I were to get them the supplies, would they be able to fashion me plate armor? I you know they bounce the idea back and forth and say, you know, it's enough time, probably, yeah. But we don't know the first place to look for a mine. Maybe in the mountains to the southwest. Alright. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Cool. And I go back to the tavern. I'm just in there complaining about the mayor. 
basically saying that he's a man of no ambition and that his his, rely, his dependence on K. Walt's safety is short-sighted because it isn't true safety. I just sit there and nod. Yes, yes, of course. You know, do you know who would make a better leader? Me, our great, my great leader of the Templar Order, of course. Ah, but he's in the far south. If only there was yes, a Templar it... in K. Walt. Someone who ah, could yes. install someone strong. A halfling, perhaps. No, halflings <laughs> are never strong. Strong of mind, though. Nah, halflings are coward and weak. I just kind of glare at him, and I remember that I've got to drop something in his drink. Probably explosive. Now, but if a Templar was to take the command, yes. Take command <laughs> of the army while I handle the logistical side of things. And then send letters for more Templar to come here. I should probably be in charge of the mail too, if that's the case. Yes. Uh, I'm. But I would need. Bent, bent over the uh, stump slash map, looking, trying to decide where to go next. Yeah, and there's but, literally like nothing written on this map. I gotta walk over. What about those kids from a couple of weeks ago? What kids? Well, I just assumed that the thing on the right is our updating the the stump. Yeah. Actually, no. We have we have the uh, we have to help the alchemy lady. Yeah, but we need cannabis for that. Yeah, let's go get some. I'd rather we did nothing with that creature ever again. Oh, you're too judgmental. What? Who do you call creature? She's a fair lady, you vile man. In a roundabout way, I agree with. The Templar. If anything you can make money off of can't be that bad. What? What yes. are you trying to imply? Make money off a fair lady? By God! I knew you were. I knew you were a businessman, halfling. But ye pimp too. I'm pretty sure that term doesn't even exist in this time period. It exists in the far south. Uh, Sounds like a horrible land. It really does. Like. The more I learn about the far south, the wish I, the less I wish I knew. So the uh, brothers, whatever the fuck they're called, uh, Mitch and French. They're in need of supplies, so mm -hmm. if we could possibly scout out a mine, of some sort, it would help them out. So that's one thing we could do. Speaking I, of the fair lady, you must have mine, mines are a very good thing to have for many reasons. Yes. Yes. So we could make some coin off of that as well. That we Actually, could. Where's Tom? I assume he's in here with us. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Oh, just, there like, you go, Tom. He doesn't say anything. I just appeared. Like, oh, hi, Tom. You came in and I was just sitting in a corner drinking. How hey, was your lad? That... Where were you anyway when we were gone? It was a boga infestation. I took care of it. Ah yes, destroying heresy. Good. Everyone knows those aren't real. Oh no, they are very much real. We run into all sorts of travels and soothsayers and people who talk with ghosts. Ah, uh, superstition. Like I said, Tom, you could be a valuable asset for the Great Templar Order. Why, I could, you could work under me. You know, friends. You know, Plant, if you spent less of your time chasing those ghosts and more time under my training, you could make uh, something of yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sorry's but I saw him first. Shoo shoo. Tom, forget these two. Work with me. Traveling caravan, ghost tricks. We could make a tidy profit, and you'd learn if more you traveling with me than these two. Join the Templars and become a, become a real man. Q video game sequence where you look at all the free choices, basically walking <laughs> dead. <laughs> Fourth option, smart option, walk away from all three of these fuckwits. <laughs> and they're all they're all labeled with the PS3 controller buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eric was trying to. Fourth option. My only calling is life to set is to set free tormented souls. 
If that's the case, then you should probably kill Swede's character right now. So, my my vote is we uh, scout out a bit to the west. Yeah, Colin. I am here, actually. We're trying to find mines. Am I too late? No. I don't believe well, so. Well, I don't know. Is you, is you Austin? No, that's fine. I mean, you guys haven't even fucking done anything yet. We're yeah. just in a bar talking about where to go next. We've been and in a phone to conversation for 45 minutes and we've done absolutely nothing. We talked about Bronze's hardest man. <laughs> Mad Sam. Yeah, what about him? <laughs> oh my god. Ah yes, nice I reference. remember hearing stories of Mad Sam. Where go are you, Austin? Hell no, I'm not. Are we... Uh, question, is Mad Sam canon in this uh, role-playing game? No. <laughs> Well, Why we not? were trying to figure out where to go until you mentioned that, Austin, to be fair. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, I, I'm with... I'm with the old fuck. Let's go find, uh... Let's go find a mine. Not that old. Wait, so what's actually happening, though? Like... We're in the... We're, arguing. we're, we're in the tavern, <laughs> and we're trying to figure out where to go next. Yeah. Okay, so, like... Any way we got there from where we were or anything? It's the town. It's the town we started in. Yeah, we just we just uh, went back uh, like a dog with with a tail between its legs. So we've just basically given up on that alchemist girl's quest. Well, we were giving up on it because you weren't here. Yeah. But now you're oh. here. It's complicated things, and the children from our first session are probably dead. And this is uh, six days later. Yeah. So we're pretty. We're a pretty bad group of adventurers, honestly. I think Ithaca just is too dangerous for us. We could go back to the far south. So when I mentioned the mine, does like Carnabus walk in and is like, "Hey, we should do the thing we were doing before" or something like that? I don't know. Oh yeah, Eric, you're going in our game. Oh yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm trying to remember how. Just go to roll twenty, and you can yeah. go and do your games. Alchemy, alchemy is all well and good, but mines, precious metals, possibly gems. Plus, you know, we get those blacksmiths some actual decent materials, and they can make us some armor and some weapons. Hmm. Victor looks at his sword. I could use a new fun, new blade. And of course, the most protective metal of all, coin. Plus, then we're not chasing some superstition or weird other nonsense. We're d we're actually finding uh, something valuable. Well, uh, fine. I'm mine at this. So, for Tom is just like he's he's been in the bar. Then his old friends came in, and then this new guy came in and was like, hey, let's go to a mine. like, what the fuck happened? No, no, no. Eric is not a man. He's a lady. Except he's not. Well, well he's more of an amorphous blob masquerading as one. I When oh, when a lady, quote-unquote, walks in, uh, from Resident Joaquin Evil, is like in the middle PMC. of a sentence. Uh, Joaquin is like in the middle of a sentence and then he just stops and his face goes white and he goes really quiet. Ah. Wait, so did you guys basically just run in terror? <laughs> well, like, we all run in terror. We watched you... It was more like we all came back and I stayed as far up from you as possible while okay. we came back. Meanwhile, I was kind of just... I had a look of not really surprise or disappointment, just kind of expectations fulfilled, but not those you wanted. Ah, fair lady. We are just uh, talking about our next quest. So have we just given up on that poor defenseless alchemist girl? Yeah. No, but, um, you know, capitalism calls. I see. Actually, I do have a question. So what happened to the unconscious guy I had? Oh, Did he just die? <laughs> he's probably dead, yeah. I don't know, man. You ate him. <laughs> That's a possibility. Well, I mean, after he died, he wasn't going to any. He wasn't doing anyone any good. Just lying there rotting. I mean, no. For once, I'm with Sir Victor. Capitalism is called, and like any good capitalists, we must answer the door in our best clothes, ready to greet it. 
and find a mine. Best close. Well then, I'd better put on my uh, seminar, my uh, seminar, seminary helmet. Yes, your we're, seminary helmet. We're we're going to a mine. We're not going to a ball here. It's a metaphor. I, I I'm trying to explain that to Victor. I I do realize this, old man, but. The, you have so, to look do you mind pretty introducing me? I don't think I know this lady. Ah, yes. The, Tom, lady. meet the fair, la fair night lady. Um, um, night lady. What's your name again? I just sort of shrug and don't answer. Her name is Shrugmute. You two should get on fine. You're both incredibly messed up, but in very different ways. Yes. I agree with that one. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, lady person. You two batting my eyes and wait. So what? He doesn't know about me. He yeah. I don't know jack shit about you. I don't even know who you are in real life. <laughs> so actually, oh. who is this guy? I don't know who he is. Uh, maybe we should introduce the place too. Lince Eric. Eric Lince. Hi. Hello. Yay. No kiss. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I can tell is we're both anime nerds. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Well, the thing is, Eric's uh, probably ironic about it. Well, with yeah. this avatar, I mean, I, I, I watch, I, I read the occasional manga. Mango. <laughs> By what? Two manga. The, the occasional mangoes. Yeah, the occasional. Yes. I think that's a, like a His legit favorite mango is uh, like FMA. Okay, so when Lady walks oh, in, I I do my sort of like pale face and then I just walk out. Like I start heading towards the west. You coward! You un un gentleman! Can you believe him? Yes. <laughs> quite quite easily with the shit that he's been dealing with the last couple of weeks. I don't know why he does it. Doesn't seem to be focused on money or fame or. I just can't show As you can see, Tom, Joaquim is a un very ungentleman man. Ungentlemany? Ungentle. You weird. This country has a weird language. Common. What? What's the language of the far south? Uncommon. Uh, Templarism. Yeah, we keep we speak common and they speak uncommon. <laughs> yes. Now, now canon. <laughs> I can deal with this. Um, so, shall we be so off? yeah, are we heading out for a mine? Yeah, I'm already on the way. I just go get my cut, get my cart and donkey, and just head off. Oh uh, yeah, I got a cart and they donkey. Said southwest, right? Oh yeah, I offload Wait, all the so dungeon rations. Wait, so has HP rations. been replenished? Yeah. 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 When you're when you rest in town, you just get it back, basically. So I uh, I just offload all of my kind of like all the wares I have somewhere safe. I don't know if I can if I've got like a place to do that or not. You just like fill your room in the tavern with like carrots and shit. Yeah, I just I just spent an hour walking back and forth through the tavern carrying various <laughs> sacks, lock up my room, and then you know we got a cart. We can doesn't it. care as long as you're paying yeah, for the room. In case we need oh, to I'm paying. get war back, probably a good idea. So yeah, yeah, the car is pretty much doesn't have anything <laughs> on it weighing it down. Is the donkey still crap? So we I have to walk but right next to it. Donkey number well, two. No donkey in number two. In it. Fine. Fine, because I won't have to. I don't want to deal with that donkey shit. So yeah, I think we just go to the southwest. Yeah. Ooh. Well, just maybe this time we can actually go somewhere. We're uh, looking. We're um, looking for I a think, mine. Just. I think I should be the um, scout. I'll I'll be the trailblazer again. And what was what was the next thing? Your Yeah, that seems good. Oh, we're going slow. Oh god. Hey, experience. 
Well, at least we spot anything if we do. Okay. And Let we me use so we only use one some days. one supply then one ration. Yeah. Well, everyone uses one ration. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, rations. it might be a good idea to do a ration check. I have seven left. I have, I guess I offloaded all but one or some shit, so I've got four. I mean, I have seven chart like uses of my two rations. Yeah. I have like, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's eight. All right. So let's see. We're marching southwest out of Kaywold. It's pretty bland. This area, um, it's mostly flat. There's not a lot of tall grasses, uh, but there isn't. There's like a couple of houses every once in a while, and you don't encounter anything unusual. On the way, uh, I sort of give Mandoc a look, and I'm like, you know, the more the more time I spend with you, the more I recognize. I feel I recognize you from somewhere. There aren't many halflings, and Perhaps it's hmm. another. Have you have you done much trading in the West? I've traveled these lands for a good long time. I, per chance, may have visited one of these towns. Hmm. Have you ever heard of the town of Brisk? There are scant opportunities in that place. So you have been there. I have been there. Because. A couple of years back, you know, there was <laughs> there was this whole thing going on with someone pulling tricks on local shopkeepers, and you know, at the time I was working for the guard, and I'm sure that wasn't you. You've known me for a couple of weeks now. Do I seem the sort who would meddle with my fellow shopkeepers? <laughs> yes, and then I just go quiet for the rest of the trip. <laughs> and occasionally, yeah, I, I, occasionally, I do interject. I do interject. I have been less than honest with some of my customers, but I don't meddle with my fellow businessman. Mm. Mm, I need to roll the dice. Make the donkey move faster, you halfling. The donkey is moving as fast as it needs to. You want me to come up there and fucking make sure that that donkey goes faster? I'd like to see you try. Alright. Oh, you want to? So oh, let's wait. see. It's not them they shouldn't be afraid of. <laughs> so you guys continue marching. Uh, let's... I need to roll one of the days. Alright. Uh, you, you enter more of a grassier kind of path, you know. Uh, Mandok is, of course, on the reins, uh, steering you in what he thinks is the correct direction. Uh -oh. And, uh, let's see... And then we all fall down a ravine. Reminder, Wait, I just so roll a 13 was... on scouting. Yeah, I'm well aware. So who is Tom Plant exactly like? He's a geister. He's a skinny fuck who's really pale, and he looks like he's about to die all the time, and he does things with ghosts. Some okay. think it's kind of like some Persona or fucking JoJo-style ghost yeah, shit. Yeah, like, he gets possessed, or he possesses things, or he has, like, some kind of partner spirit or something. Gotcha. No, no one really knows, except for Tom. Not for sure. All no. we know is that weird things happen when we're around him. Yeah. That's why I said you'd both you'd get on because you're both fucked. Fucked in very different ways, mind. Very, very different ways. Yeah. 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 Like at least Tom doesn't at least cannibalize the corpses of his enemies. At yeah. least not to which I'm aware. Not in front of us, anyway. Yeah. And meanwhile, um, Carnabus is like Alex Mercer from Prototype. Lovely. Yeah, I like yeah. to think more like the thing from. John yeah, I, I think thing. he's more like the thing. Even better. I really should watch that. Because Alex you Mercer watch. is. You watched still... that. You watched that with us. No, Alex I didn't. Mercer is still like a you guy. I uh, no, I literally did not watch the thing with you guys. We were on a big call. It was on Halloween one night. 
No, I didn't watch the thing. I watched Jason X and as a Plan Nine from Outer Space. This was like two years ago, but like you, Swede, Nikita, Ben, I think, and Lime might have been there too. No. Nope. Oh no, I think don't think Snake was in that call. Really? I thought he was. No. How have you not watched the thing? Have you have you watched Alien? No. Don't you, don't you like films? I do. Snake, why are you so awful watching sci-fi? Yeah. Hmm. I bet you haven't seen the blob either. Nope. Wow. Have you seen the fly? Nope. Which one? Uh, the, the the original. Well, not the original, the 80s one. The 80s ah. one. How about also, They Live? Nope. I got, show, I got shown them in... Do, in do you even watch movies? You know, I'm not so sure of that one myself. Snake. How about that one with the brains? I forget what it's called. I've watched Birdemic. And that was Future yes. Armor. Birdemic, that's all you need to watch, honestly. That is your cinematic experience. Alright. Alright, so... How fucked are we? <clears throat> you're marching the cart when, uh, let's see, this is directly towards Joaquin. You see... I'm guessing I'm, like, ahead of the pack with Baldrica? You could say that, sure. So, how far in the distance you see this very large looking creature it walks Uh, on four legs uh and it appears to have wings and it seems to be chewing like on a large object looks like some sort of house or building and it's just like uh hmm. can i spout lore based on my experiences yeah sure determine what it is Um, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, spout lore. Uh, spout lore is on tele. Oh, yeah, but you can substitute your wisdom, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Something interesting and useful. Uh, let's see. What you're looking at, you, you know, dig deep into your memories, is you've heard the term digester before. And it it's, looks like some sort of fucked up magical experiment gone wrong, but it leaks acid out of its mouth and is constantly like looking to eat things. How much does it remind me of Carnabus? I was going to uh, say, can I also spout lore on this for being a similar breath? Or you, you don't, see, you don't see it, but... Okay. This this looks much more like a um, solid object in Carnabus. Okay, um, and it, like how far off in the distance is it, and how big is it? Um, like compared to like a house, for example. Compared to a house, I would say that it's not ten feet tall, but maybe twenty feet long, or like ten feet long, and is like gnawing on the side of this building. With this like giant drink like oh. mouth, um, it's mm. not as fucked up as Carnivus. And it hasn't noticed me. Like it's pretty no. far off. It's pretty far off. Yeah. Um, would I be able to steer us around it, or is it in our path? Uh, I mean, technically, you guys aren't on a path. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to go around it. Okay, I go back to the group and I tell them what I saw. By God! Heresy! My suggestion is that we avoid it completely. I'm with the old man on this one. <laughs> unless, you, unless you're particularly keen on uh, acid, you know, biting through all of your armor. At this point, can I spout lore on, like, just if there's anything else I might know about it? Well, first, we need to I mean, ask Joaquin. What it is. I, I tell you guys, like, what it is. Yeah, well, first we need to ask Joaquin, how do you know about it? Um, well, I mean, like most things that Joaquim knows about, it's just through his experiences as as a soldier. Like, I've either fought it, or I've seen people fight it. In this case, I've seen people fight it. And I've, I've seen them be just, you know, devoured by it before. Cool. You can't even see this shit, man. No. He well, told we're us. being told about it, oh. and I'm just, I'm yeah. just getting ready so th- to steer around it. Yeah, 
And that's why Victor is trying to fight his inner urge to fight heresy. I mean, if you, if you want, if anyone else wants to roll a like, lore to see if they know anything about it, sure. I but, will. There's a nine. Uh, tell you something interesting. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Keep in mind, if you have books, you can use those to spout lore with. Oh, I've got a bag of books. Not really. I have a Bible. I have one of those, like, creepy spell books, but I don't think there's anything written in uh, it. I mean, well, it's well, actually an item destroyed. called... It's an item called... I bag. got the other one. Oh, okay. Um, typically, these are artificial. <sighs> are they, like, made by dwarves or, and shit? Like, that? that's what you mean? No, what do you mean? They're, they're like... artificial. Huh? Artificial in a monkey sense? So they're constructs, I mean, is, is what I mean. Like, they're made by someone. Yeah, they're made by something. So aren't they, are they technically golems? No, well, no, never got, mind. Isn't that. a golem... Ignore that. Ignore that golems are not that thing. They're kind of... They're, golems are like animated stuff. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So that's not the So like a all. bunch of mages or warlocks or something like created it in a ritual. Well, you awesome. don't know how it was made. But something to that effect though. But it, we just know that's that there's a possibility. Natural. But this thing is not naturally occurring. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still you know, um still advise that we go around it because you know, they're pretty dangerous and it could like it could just swallow the cart whole, basically. Uh, not the potatoes. Not no, the I, offlo I offloaded the potatoes. They're they're fine and safe, but I do like my carts. I spent money on it. I'm I'm more concerned with uh, Bill here. You know the donkey. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. not Bill. That's donkey number two. <laughs> Sorry, I Bill. I think you should give him a real name. That was his name when I picked him up. Maybe you should give a different name. Donkey number two sounds like he's named after like some kind of perfume. You know, speaking as the salesman here, you would not name perfume donkey number two. No, but it's sort of in the same vein. Anyway, I, I say we go around it. Yeah, sure. I that sounds fine. Good. Victor, Victor, Victor begrudgingly agrees. Do we have to roll for that? Um... No, we can just say you go around it. We're I mean, pretty far things, away from it. Yeah, yeah, it's distracted. That's the advantage uh, of getting a scout roll, I think. Yeah, we get the we get basically the advantage. Or the first move anyway. Yeah. Alright, so yes, you have entered so you push the cart through you know, it starts to get real grassy. Like the grass gets up to your knees and such, but it's like lush, green, rained recently kind of grass. Uh, you keep pushing and pushing, and you, you know, the grass starts to like dry out a bit, you know, it starts turning like more brown and stuff. But, you know, you're still moving. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're moving through uh, a good, put a good portion. Let's see how, let me look how long it's been. What uh? What weapon do you use, uh, Tom Plant? We we'll use the rapier. Okay, so as we're walking, I'm kind of giving uh, Tom Plant pointers on how to use his weapon, basically. Uh, Baldrica as well. We're just sort of going through like training mo uh, movements. I'm getting bored at the reins, and with the new staff I picked up, I occasionally just prod Sir Victor. Stop! Stop it, halfling. Well, Victor, when he's not being prodded, like harassed by this halfling, is basically just just trying to impress a uh, uh, night lady because while well, he's a Victor, and then and I then I smashed him down to the ground and broke his fucking leg. It was All right, how booth of a knight to swear? So you're sitting in this middle Victor of this like, great night. dried grass area, and you guys have been traveling for about four and a half hours. What time is it? So it's it's rolling around five p.m. 
Now, how we have like an actual cart though, like at least some of us have been riding on it. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's I, I offloaded it so that we could ride on it. Yeah, uh, it's I might fit about three people right now. Uh, let's see. Me or Victor aren't in it because I'm pretty sure both of us have a lot of load. Like I have ten. Oh, I have, I have like four now. Uh, yes. Cody, mm. you spot a man walking alone uh, off in the distance. He seems to be like pushing a wheelbarrow in front of him. Does he just look like a guy? Like he doesn't look uh, dangerous or anything? Well, he looks like a dude. All right. Uh. <laughs> I call out. I'm like, oi. Oi there. Uh, he stops moving, looks around, and waves back. Sort of wave. Uh, doesn't really, like, nothing out of the ordinary. No? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I just walk up. Okay, cool. Walk out, traveler. Uh, wh where are you from? He says, uh, oh, uh, small hunting village to the west. What do you do? Oh, how far to the west? He shrugs and says, oh, maybe another 18. 20 miles. Oh. Uh, we're just, uh, doing a bit of exploring out of K-Wold. He nods and says, oh, off, off in the, uh, eastern grass sea. Hmm. Did, would you know of any, um, caves or, uh, you know, ore deposits in, in the area? He, he scratches his we're chin. Sort of prospecting. Uh, he's got, like, a wide-brimmed hat on, you know, it's, like, worn leather basic traveling clothes, but he's got like this long kind of red beard. He scratches it. I'm says, probably uh, sweating quite a bit in the... Uh... Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's really warm out over here. Yeah. Um, he says, uh, yeah, down to the mountains in the south there should be a good bit. Mm. Uh, you got a distance? Mm, he like, you know, closes his uh, or uh, squints and puts his hand over his eyes and says, eh, 20 miles south? Hmm. Uh, we, if we went to your village, would they have, uh, you know, food, a place we could, we could stay up the night? And he shrugs and says, well, we're usually just nomads, we kind of wander the area around here. But you're here now, right? You know, it says, yeah, for a bit. For the yeah. night, at least? For a couple of days, probably. There's good game to be caught out here in the savannah. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have a talk with my uh, compatriots over there, and uh, we might we might join you if you're heading that way. You no, know, I think says sure. Okay, so I go back to the cart and uh, I just tell them we have the option of going to a trading village. It might be good for you, uh, Mandoc, to get some contacts around here. Could be handy. So Austin, question, how hot did you say it was? Uh, it's probably like... 85 Fahrenheit. <laughs> and he's wearing okay. a armor. Yeah, you can hear Victor from inside of his armor like... Crackling. Really, like, it's, it's like bacon. Hot. It's like sizzling. Fucking hell, it's hot in here. Oh well, yeah, and there's not really any shade. There's just like, you know... But it's a dry heat. It's not like humid or anything. No, it's not humid at all. Is this like a savanna, sort of? Um, you know, you think it's you turning into that? Yeah. Well, yeah, you just said it was like dry g grass, not necessarily. Like, you haven't seen any trees for a while. Okay. Does this car have a... No, it probably doesn't have... So, yeah, my my thinking is we, we go to the, the village, we stay the night, we ask them about, you know, ore deposits, any previous prospectors that might have come in the area... Uh, you know, you, Mandoc, you get some context maybe you can trade with. We find out where they go to most of the time, because they're, um, uh, they're, they're, they travel a lot. Travelers do thing. indeed travel. They're nomads, is the word I was thinking of. So, what do you think? What's the name of this village? Did, did he say? Um, he says he's part of the uh, Ittumak tribe. That. Can I try and spout law like if I've ever traded with them before or had known them? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm not going to use a bag of books. I'm just going to see. 
<laughs> pull out a book to research. Yeah, that's or, why like, it just makes no goddamn no sense. I mean... No, I don't know Ooh. shit. No, Maybe you should have. Anything. At least you get XP. Yeah. I try and remember them, like, doesn't ring a bell. Town plant knows don't nothing. Um, I'm gonna roll as well, not necessarily for the town, but more like the whole sea of grass and everything. I might have been out. Oh, no. Nobody knows wow. anything. Hey guys, Mark experience. Ooh, I do, um, rolls. yeah. I leveled up. I just hit 8 out of 8. Yeah. Well, uh, if when, we, go when we, can, we go into the town and sleep, can. then... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I say we go there, we stay the night, and then uh, we get out early in the morning. Sounds good to me. I need to get in some in a cold area. This uh, my suit of armor is getting increasingly more hotter. Don't you wear something under that? Couldn't you take that off? Well, I could. You'd wear chainmail under it, and then leather under that, and then cloth <laughs> under that. I, well, what, you kind of, what? I've got an, I I've got an idea there, Sir Victor. I'll cut some holes in the armor for ventilation. Just pay me a tidy <laughs> sum. <laughs> I pull my sword at Halfling and I say, If you dare to touch my holy armor, all I right, swear. All right. You know, PR, you know, let's let's present a strong front towards this this guy who's gonna take us to his village. A strong <laughs> front? Okay, this is Sir Victor. He's stupid, but he can stab stuff. Who are you calling stupid? All your cons so far have fallen flat. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because you were there. Then I guess we, we follow the guy into his village. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I mean, it's uh, dusk before you guys make it back. Yeah. Um, and then it's probably like ten o'clock at night by the time you guys get there. Uh, it's just like a small circle of tents, and there's like a big fire in the middle. So this isn't even really a village. It's just more like a tribal land. Yeah. Well, it's and yeah. let's oh, see, yeah. actually, by the time you get here, it does look more like a savanna. There's the grass is lower, but there, you know, you start to see like the occasional real wide brimmed trees. Do they sell anything interesting? That's what I, the first thing I do when we get there is I look around. For oh yeah, I go with him on that one. I'm looking for anything unique, anything that's not like cable, same? basically. Um. I mean, they'll sell you, like, arrows and, like, hunter's bows. And then generally just kind of rick rations and stuff. It's nothing too big. Okay, so there's no, like, ancient magic weapons or, you know, no. scrolls of uh, meteor or anything like that? Nope. Well, he's complaining about weapons. I'm complaining they don't have any kind of interesting and unique reagents or plants or anything. Oh, actually, now that you mention it... They do sell halfling pipe leaf, and they sell what is it? Do they have some halflings with them? Oh, there's probably a few. They sell uh, some taget oil, or taget oil. Oh, taget. that's just, that's a sleeping potion thing. Wow. It's a it's a type of poison that you apply to your weapon, and whoever is applied oh. with it falls into a light sleep. Yeah, I see it now. Hmm. I oh. I go over I go over that five uses five coins. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy three lots of halfling pipe leaf to try and sell back in Ithaca. Sure. Okay. Do they have a shaman? Um, I don't think they're quite that tribal. I'm gonna buy some of that oil. I'm gonna buy one thing of the oil. Actually, okay. could I roll charisma to try and like um? Bought a down. Uh, sure. Don't you have a skill that does that? Oh. Or is that just selling useless things? Yeah, that's con art, it's selling useless items. Okay. Yeah, I'll just buy it at price if I can. Charisma. Hey. Uh, I'll, I'll sell it to you people. for street value. Street value? Alright, so that's five coins. Free. Okay. Oh, well, so that's fifteen coins for free, rather. Does anybody know what that? How that's actually pronounced? Is it Taget? Taget? I don't know. T a g i t. I ask around camp and see if they've experienced anything supernatural. Um, you hear kind of a lot of 
laughs and says, this land is supernatural. You get kind of rumors, you know, they've spotted the digester too, you know, kind of avoided it. But they've been, they're wary of where it goes because it's typically easy to find where it's been. Um, but other than that, uh, they don't really know about anything too much supernatural around here. One of them speaks up about uh, some possible ruins in the area that, you know, might have something in there. But they they don't go near those places. What direction? To the north. Uh, I also ask more about uh, prospecting and that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, they say if you travel directly south, you'll hit the wasteland, and then beyond the wasteland uh, is a mountain range. How, how big is this wasteland? That doesn't sound, that doesn't bode well, that sort of name. Uh, he nods and says it's it's not a good place to be. Uh, I would suggest you try going around it. You know, that'll be southeast, southwest, or southeast, south. But he shrugs. If you if you walk to the edge of it, you can follow the edge and you know, it should be okay. I assume can I see the can I actually see the mountain from where we are? Uh no. It's dark. And I mean during the day could I have seen it? What's typical like viewing Nine miles. distance? Nine miles? No. Yeah. Well unless well, it's eyesight, you mean. Unless it's yeah. a mountain that's sticking up. That's high. true. That, if it's yeah, that, that would be to the base. Nine miles is like curvature of the earth. Oh, then yeah, I would say you could see it to the south. It would definitely be hard though. Like it would, it would be depend sort of on the distance blurry. and the size of the mountain. Yeah, I mean they're pretty big, but they're like twelve miles away. Then yeah, we'd probably be able to see that. Mr. Victor just looks at looks at the mountain. Ha! They're easy to climb. Wait. So what are we do? What are we doing? With, at, with this mine, are we... We're... Okay, you remember the blacksmiths that we invested in? Yes. They, they're they asking for ore so that they can get their business going, and also, you know, ore means money, so it's just sort of... Okay, they need, so... They need prospectors. We're acting as prospectors right now. Oh, so we're not, we're not get, gathering it ourselves? Well, we could. We, that's why we brought the cart. Well, we don't have pickaxes, do we? Well, no. no. <laughs> I mean, no. Do you guys even know what to look for? Wa Joachim's not a miner. I mean, Carnabus probably could physically mine, but has no experience doing so. I'm, so, I'm assuming access. that, I mean, Mandok is our guy when it comes to finding things that are valuable, so I'm assuming he would be able to know what to look, what to look for. It would make a degree of sense. I would also be very good at, like, exploring little caves and whatnot, but... I also only just got back, so what did I miss? Uh, there's a ruins to the north, and to the south there's a wasteland, and on the other side of the wasteland is a mountain where they believe we would find ore. But we can go around the wasteland, should we choose to do that. Yeah, which we probably should. I just, I'm not, like, hanging out with the rest of you in the tavern. I'm, like, just sort of hanging out around the very far outskirts of the village. Oh, yeah, maybe even if you were, even if you were hanging out with us, Joaquin would be far away from you. No, but I'm, like, out in the tall grass around the village, like, maybe hunting small game or something. Uh, Meanwhile, with, I try and talk with, tra I spend the night talking with traders and yeah, such. I, I tell Tom Plant about the horrible monstrosity that Carnabus actually is, and what I saw. V Victor is just trying to tell his stories in the bar, like, trying to pe get people like, oh my god, the Templars are cool! When, I, I, when I'm told the, the, of the two options, like, I'm leaning more towards skirting the wastelands and then trying to find ore in the mountains, that seems yeah, more definite to me. That, that's my uh, opinion as well. I'm gonna say that in the past I've kind of like been with prospecting teams like and such while traveling. And then I smashed his head with this bare fist. Uh, I guess we we just make camp there, right? Sure. Yeah. 
So you can level up if you need to. Yeah, I... Whoa, I just got kicked, I think. No. Well, I'm... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there he is again. I've forgotten how to level up. Okay, so you get one point to go to an attribute. So, like, you can raise your strength from 13 to 14, for example. And uh, you get one move from your sheet. Okay, and so I knock my XP back down to zero? Yes. Yeah. And you raise your level up by one on the sheet and automatically calculate what the maximum you need is for the next level. Alright, and I raise one of my stats by one? Yes. I go with... Hmm. So yeah, I explained to Tom Plant that Carnabus is this thing that just ate a bunch of guys and like it its flesh changed to like weapons and all kinds of like horrible stuff. Wait, um you're an anime. have you watched FMA? Yes. Oh god. Think um Brotherhood specifically. Think Pride but with like flesh and bone and meat and well, he's of the uh, thing, right? Um, sort of like the thing, yeah, but, like, a very big emphasis on being covered in, like, eyes and toothy mouths and sinew and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm Yeah. I think a good way, very the first day. time I actually used my powers in the game was there was this dying guy who was useless not giving any information and I needed the morph. So I, like, split open vertically and just sort of took him in and ate him like that. Yeah, I, I, Joachim didn't see that, but Joachim d did see you like take out a whole room full of people and eat them, basically, in front of him. So I, I, I tell that story. Meanwhile, I was in the cart drinking. And so Victor does not know any of this. Oh yeah, I also I, prepared some of my patent medicine. to keep him in the dark about me for as long as possible. All sorts of but, cool stuff. My ribcage bursting out of my chest as a claw and impaling someone. All sorts of yep. cool stuff. Eric, Eric likes playing like a horrible woman, playing poor Sir Victor. Yeah, uh, Joachim doesn't say any of this until he's pretty fucking drunk, though. I've spent a night preparing some patent medicine for the next day. Oh, the move I added was enhanced stamina, which just means I have four morph now instead of three. I consider nice. scamming these folk, but then I decide I'll do it on the way back, if we run into them again. And I, I assume that Baldrica feels the same way that I do about um, people, huh. Carn huh. like Carnivus. She's Is she not a strong, independent woman, Cody? Maybe she feels different. Uh, she's got five loyalty. She pretty much just follows what I do. <laughs> she Maybe. on your side. Victor just sits and brags about his great Templar order. Alright, so are we ready to move to the south? Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. cue uh, Final Fantasy in music. Alright, then uh, let's do some Perilous Journey rolls. I'll do Trailblazing we're, again. We're going to the edge of the uh, the wasteland and then we're just skirt, skirting around it. Okay. I'll do Scout again. Trailblaze, yeah! Uh, I got a seven. Okay. So, so yeah, you... Uh, let's see, dawn rises. So no um, one gets to drop on us, but we don't get to drop on them. Yeah, dawn rises, you say your farewells after taking part in probably, like, antelope meat, that kind of thing. Oh, do we not need to use a ration at the camp? Nah, they, I would say the camp... Uh, by the way, I don't have, like, a ration stamp, but that's right, right, considering my unusual eating habits. No, I believe you still need to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, did you not... Did you not but, like, I eat people here. in battle, like, that's sort of my thing, like, I... Yeah, that's, but that has a gameplay morph. purpose of recharging your ability to morph. You still need sustenance. 
teenager self. So how does that work? The... Well, he did go hunting during the night, so I think that would count as like what he ate today. But as far as like journeys and stuff, you'd still need rations. Yeah, you just buy dungeon rations or some such, and they have five uses. Yeah, they'll sell you rations here. They're pretty cheap, too, I think. If you have any coin. I have no coin, no. Uh, 